Okay, fellow M1 rifle enthusiasts, welcome back to the shop. Uh, I'm going to make a short video, actually I don't know how short it's going to be, um, about how to install the 7.62 NATO uh, 308 spacer block into your M1, alright? So, this is a 308, right? 7.62 NATO. This is a 308 um, caliber match rifle that I built. So, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you where we are right at the moment. Take the rifle out of the stock. I did all that stuff off camera because I can't do it on the bench on camera. Uh, this rifle is really tight um, in the wooden and all that kind of stuff. The, the lockup on the on the trigger is just super tight. So. Um, there's no way I can really do that uh, on the bench. So, take it out of the stock, take out, remove your op rod spring and your follower um, latch, okay? And that's going to leave you with your op rod and bolt sliding back and forth and your uh, follower going up and down, okay? So, Real quick, this is the one that you get from the CMP. Let me see if I can. Okay, so you might have noticed the shape of this piece of equipment. It's got these two little arms and this angle right here. So, back when I was in law enforcement, we might have called that a clue. So, it's going to go just like this. All right. Now, I'm going to take my extremely rare and expensive imported gunsmithing tool, imported from the Chinese restaurant, and I'm going to remove my follower arm pin. Follower arm, and I am going to rotate my bullet guard down and slide this puppy right on there. All right, just like that. See how that fits? All right, just like it was made for it. Um, reinsert my follower arm you ever notice how this stuff is only difficult when you're trying to do it on camera uh, I'll put my follower arm pin back in and remember the as I just said about only on camera. So, there you have it, All right? Now, this is what it looks like. See that? You have a huge, disgusting white piece of plastic stuck into your beautiful M1 National Match Rifle. And just the sight of it makes me want to barf. But, there you have it. And that piece of equipment, not this piece of equipment, this piece of equipment, will keep you from loading a 30 odd 6 magazine, excuse me, 30 odd 6 end block clip into your 308 slash 7.62 NATO match rifle. Okay? It really is that simple, boys and girls. Now, why am I doing this video? Because guess what? Nobody showed me, that's not true, somebody showed me, but it was only one person, and I didn't know how to do that. Frankly, um, once upon a time I was such a purist that you could not have gotten me to own a 308 caliber M1. So, we'll remove it. And 
that is it. So. Okay, since we already have it disassembled, I'm now going to show you how to put the military machine steel block in. Okay. So once again, this thing is full of clues, right? Hmm. So this one's a little bit different. You kind of have to work it in from underneath before you put the bullet guide back in, right? And then it's a little more difficult to put in your follower rod because it's just a tiny little space right there but again it's not brain surgery right and your follower arm pin goes in just like that so you have this huge block which you normally would never see right and this is what it looks like so can you believe that All right guess what you couldn't get a 30 odd six clip into this rifle with a hammer okay so there you have it All right that's how you do it now now I'm going to tell you the ugly truth. You do not require a 7.62 slash 308 block to operate a 7.62 slash 308 caliber M1 rifle. You do not require it. You must be aware enough of what you are doing on the range at all times to keep yourself come on baby there you go from putting the wrong caliber ammunition into your rifle right I mean I know it sounds silly but it really is that simple um, do not Try to load a 30 odd six clip into your 308 rifle. You just have to know what you're doing. Now, in my case, this is the only rifle that I have in 308, and it's the only rifle I have uh, with this beautiful green and black laminated stock. So, it's not hard for me to make sure that I'm putting the right caliber in. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, if it is, please give me a Give me a thumbs up. If it's not, give me a thumbs down. Um, I would love to have your comments. Like I said, the reason I'm doing uh, these relatively simple videos about um, 308 blocks and you know the kinds of gauges that you need to, to possess in order to buy your M1 and buy your M1 parts um, is because I learned pretty much all of this the hard way. You know, I had to I had to go out and figure it out and there were very few um, really knowledgeable M1 folks uh, available to me. So I had to do a lot of research. And I have, um, I have used YouTube to research all kinds of stuff. So, and that includes, you know, gun stuff every now and then. So <laughs> I have not seen another video on YouTube uh, showing the M1 Grand World how to put their 308 blocks in. So I figured I would share that with you. Um, and again, I hope it's helpful. Thanks for joining me. Um, have a great day. God bless America.